Oh, it says we're live. It says we're live. Interesting. Well, surprise, surprise, everybody. Surprise, surprise, surprise. <laughs> we just dropping it. We just jumping on here, man. You know what I'm saying? We just doing our little thing, man. And so, uh, <clears throat> we you know, interrupt your regularly scrolling broadcast <laughs> to, uh, we interrupt your normally boring scrolling timeline with some real dope discussion and conversation tonight. Yes. You know what I'm saying? Shoot, I'm about, to, I'm, about to hit, I'm about to hit sharing this bad boy, man. We're going to do this thing, man. <clears throat> We're going to do this the fizzle. Uh, sharing, sharing. Share to a page. Share to that page. We're sharing, folks. So while y'all getting on, say hi, wave. Yeah, click say and hi, share. what's up, man? Don't be a sucker, man. If you, if you know, if you... If you're checking us out, say what's up. We can see your comments, you know, and if you got something to say, say it. You know, if you agree, disagree, you know, say it. Because we're going we're gonna to do some talking, man. Yes. We're going to do some talking. What you think? Yeah, speaking of commenting, I mean, this one is actually sponsored by a gentleman who commented on the last video that we did on Pretty Girl and Princess Syndrome. So mm. we're going to be uh, digging up that old uh, nugget and going after it again. Mm-hmm. Sure enough. So, hey, man, that being said, I am Kirk M. Samuels. And I am Jason B. Kendrick. And you know what it is. We are the mad men of masculinity, baby. That's right. We're just real men having real conversations for you. And today? For you. Oh, it's all about you because this actually comes from a comment from our yeah. YouTube video from the last Princess and Nice um, Pretty Girl Syndrome one we did. So, mm -hmm. that's that. stuff, man. Yeah, that was a that was a great one. And uh, this gentleman, we we mentioned online dating and pretty girl syndrome and whatnot. We didn't necessarily delve into it. He said we he would like us to delve into it some more. So that's what we're doing tonight. Mm. See, we're re we're responsive, man. See, we you know we got a special relationship with the with the tribe, with the community, man, with the with the MMMs out there, man. We we you know we we are in touch. We listen and we respond. Sure. So if you again, if you're watching this, you know, type in, say what's up, you know, hit a comment or two, you know, like, share, subscribe. If you're watching this on YouTube, man, you know, engage with the brothers. You know, we're having some deep conversations. So, 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 what was his? What, what was some of his feedback, man? Set set the stage a little bit. Basically, he he liked the video and was saying that we kind of touched on online dating, but we didn't really delve into it. And I'm assuming, especially with everything going on, he's been having some issues with online dating and just how a lot of ladies may. And, it, and to put it in his words, it was something along the lines of a lot of ladies who may be considered a quote unquote two. And I hate numbers and labels and all that because that's, that's just so mm -hmm. limiting and boxing. But mm -hmm. to, you know, to basically quote how he said it, you know, ladies who were, were lower ranking in his terms were treating themselves or responding on uh, during online dating as if they were much higher. So like, and I, I definitely wanted to touch on this because there, there's some things I think we as men, especially in the online dating world need to be aware of mm -hmm. that may, may not be. So we're mm -hmm. going to, we're going to delve into that a little bit, but yeah, that was basically his, his complaint or his insight was that there are a lot of ladies out there online that have kind of puffed themselves up, which, which is kind of, Part of pretty girl syndrome and princess syndrome is that they think their uh their their poop don't stink, mm -hmm. so they may not be open to a lot of the gentlemen out there who are coming at them or, or wanting to to create something mm -hmm. from that online dating profile. Mm. He, if I if I remember reading reading uh if I remember correct uh, some of his comments, you know he kind of went back and forth a little bit with um with you know. In, in talking about his experiences, and again, this is his experiences. This is uh, feedback from from this guy. But um, you know, he talked about uh, just you know some women, you know, like, like you said, that basically that weren't all that that were thinking they were all that, or that they were sitting back and doing this and that. And he kind of, you know, some of it, uh, you know, in my opinion, some of it was kind of you know the the story I tell myself kind of stuff. Uh, but but, you know, at the same time, some of it, you know, I think is relatively valid. Now, I've had some experiences mm -hmm. with uh, with online dating over the years. Um, and uh, and so, you know, I've had my experiences. They may not be everybody's experiences, but I have my experiences, which inform my opinion. Yeah. Um, but uh, some of it, I don't know, I kind of agree with. And then he kind of went off also on, on another tangent about, 
you know, <clears throat> how to respond and how to communicate, you know, don't text back right away and, right. and all those kinds of things. And some of that kind of near the end, I, my attention a little bit faded. I'm just being honest. My attention faded a little bit because then I'm like, all right, dude, I mean, you know, if I got to do the pickup artist, if I got to do all the, the, the game kind of stuff, right. you know, at this point, I'm, I'm kind of too old for that, man. I ain't really, I ain't really interested in all that, but you know, too much anymore. So, uh, so yeah, I mean, I, I thought, you know, some of the stuff was his experience, but some yeah. of the stuff I kind of, I, I, you know, I, I can relate to. Yeah, I could definitely see some validity to it. And I think that's one of the reasons we wanted to retouch on this because not only did he comment, but he asked us to come back in and give our two cents. And mm -hmm. one of the things I definitely felt called to do in response to his comments, especially on this subject, was that a lot of guys, we don't really, being the masculine, being the pursuer, like we were talking about before we got on, we don't realize the inundation and just the, the sheer magnitude and volume of likes and attention and messages that most women get on an online dating site. I mean, I think there's, there's been some training out there or just some sort of mindset with the guys that it's qu quantity over quality kind of thing where they just got to like everybody, you know, that, you know, if you, you ask a hundred girls out, one will say yes kind of thing. So all these ladies are just getting inundated and flooded with messages and likes and all these different comments. And so it's hard to even, figure out who is who and what is what. And so finding that happy medium of being unique and saying something that catches their attention, but also not real, you know, realizing that that may not be their primary thing. They may not be their focus. They probably have mm -hmm. a life and a job and other things and a family mm -hmm. to, to worry about. So mm -hmm. having the right mindset. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I mean, I, you know, I, I like to say that pursuing and, and, and for lack of a better word, hunting and, and that kind of stuff is that's a masculine, generally speaking, kind of thing. So, you know, us guys, we might have a perspective that 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 uh, females are are out there online just kind of looking, at, you know, looking at guys, looking for guys as hard as we are. And that might not necessarily be the case. You know, you know, it might not be uh, the same level of priority for a woman uh, or for women in general. Um, and so maybe, you know, maybe she's not, you know searching as, as hard as you are as a guy because kind of you know that that chase that that hunt that pursuing is is the important uh is more um more more of a guy thing kind of so you know and yeah to your point i mean you know men can be fairly aggressive probably and of course nowadays sometimes women are too but uh you know but yeah if her inbox is full you know then maybe she doesn't have a chance to get back or maybe she's busy she got other stuff going on and Carnancy, maybe you don't stand out enough for her to reply to. And, yeah. you know, maybe it's just, you know, she's just not the one. Um, yeah. So it could be several reasons. Yeah. I mean, there's, and there's, this is, there are people who specialize in this that mm -hmm. I, I've been watching YouTube videos and there's just all different men and women from both sides of, of the court talking about the best way to get attention, the best way to stand out, the best way to text message or mm -hmm. to send a message that will get you attention. There's tons of information out there. But from what I've seen, I think even with uh, the conversation Kirk and I were having when we were figuring out what to talk about when we got on, there's ways of being more interesting. Mm -hmm. There's ways of being more uh, uh, mysterious and, and not just, I think probably the biggest issue most guys have is either one, they're not being original, they're not being really true to themselves, plus they're also overdoing it, mm -hmm. you know, and and sometimes it's that, ADD, you know, we're, we're all inundated with information. So do I, are you getting their attention quickly and succinctly? Mm -hmm. And then basically the three B's always remember the three B's gentlemen, be brief, be brilliant, be gone, just mm -hmm. in and out, do their thing. So mm -hmm. there's things to, th to think about. Now I'm no expert. I've not had a whole lot of experience or success when it comes to the online dating world. I tend to go in and look and get out. I'd prefer the, the personal because I feel like sometimes this may be something to look at as well if you're, if you're struggling as a man dating, do you feel like you present well online or do you mm -hmm. present better in person? Mm -hmm. And cause I know I present better in person. I have had a hard time encapsulating who I am on a brief bio box. Mm -hmm. <laughs> maybe mm -hmm. the, and maybe as to your point, Kirk, I think that mm -hmm. I would love for you to tell your experience, but maybe mm -hmm. being more brief is a better idea mm -hmm. than putting your whole life story out there because who wants to read that novel? 
Yeah, we as guys, you know, we, you know, we, uh, so I, I'm not currently in the dating space, um, don't have a profile, anything like that. If there is one out there, it ain't me and it ain't active. <laughs> um, but, um, but yeah, I mean, I, I can, you know, relating back however many years ago that was or just whenever, um, you know, I, I, I try too hard. I mean, man, I, I just remember, you know, man, my, that profile, man. Oh my goodness. I put way too much information in there. And I was just trying, man. I was, you know, to go back and, 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 uh, and to see what I had in there. Uh, Cause I kind of kept a, uh, I kind of kept a word document of, of that, just the bio that I had just for pros posterity sake. But, uh, it was like exhausted, man. I mean, I just, it was ridiculous. And, you know, and I, you know, ironically kind of near the end of my, that, that, that life span for me, I, you know, I really didn't say much of nothing at all. I think I was trying too hard. And I think, uh, you know, I think, you know, we can, we can try too hard. I mean, I think, you know, just be you and whatever you is, you know, maybe, but be you don't be somebody else. Don't, don't post pictures from whenever ago that, you know, don't look nothing like you and, you know, don't try to be something you're not just be you and, and, you know, and, and let that attract the one that, that, uh, that, that is meant for you. But, you know, so, yeah, I mean, I, I think, you know, I think we can definitely as guys, we can try too hard in that, in, in that whole thing. And we can try to be something that we're not, as opposed yeah. to just being us, which is everything we are. Yeah. And I think that's part of it. Yeah. I mean, I don't want to discount his point at all, you know, altogether, because I'm sure there, there is some validity to that. You know, maybe there's ladies who think they're more, you know, all that because they do get all that attention and they do have so many options. And, mm -hmm. and I think that's really the gist and the crux of it. If you're coming at online dating with a lack scarcity mentality, then that's coming across. Mm -hmm. That's coming across in your profile. It's coming across mm -hmm. in your actions. Now, if you're coming at it from a more abundance mindset, like, you can be yourself because you're good enough just as you are. You don't have to mm -hmm. prove yourself mm -hmm. to anyone or anything that's more attractive. And mm -hmm. so if, however that comes across for you in the dating world, especially online, be you unapologetically. Cause I mean, when it comes, when, when the chips are down, when it comes down to it, you want somebody who matches you. And if they don't know who the, you are, how can they match you? So mm -hmm. be who you are, even if that's being brutally honest, like I'm socially awkward. I have, you know, social, whatever anxiety and, and I, this and that, at least they know who you are. Yeah. You know, at least, at least they're dealing with <clears throat> reality. <laughs> yeah. And, and you know, that, that, that sounds so simple, but man, it, it is so true in terms of just, you know, in terms of just us guys, just being, you know, being, um, learning who we are and being who we are and, and accepting who we are, loving who we are so that somebody else can, can, uh, can love us. Um, but, you know, I, I remember, man, when I first, first, I don't even know how many years ago this was, but when I first, first uh, put my, 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 my toe into the whole da online dating world, um, man, I, I, I don't even remember which one of the, I don't remember if it was match or one of those, but mm -hmm. I was just like, man, when I saw all those profiles, I was like a fat kid in a Twinkie factory, man. I was just like, you got to be kidding me, man. Holy, here we go. It's on now, you know, and, uh, and, and then, yeah, I mean, after a while I got kind of jaded and, and then, then I got kind of jaded in terms of just females in general, mm -hmm. um, when, you know, all women are not like the women that I, that I had met. Um, and so, you know, and, and so, yeah, I mean, but it comes down to, you know, knowing you know thyself love thyself, be thyself. I mean, and then, you know, and then, uh, and then whatever is coming to you will come to you. But yeah, there's no need to try all that hard, man. Yeah. I just, uh, I don't know, man. I just, at this point, like I said, I'm just kind of over it in terms of when I look back and I'm like, man, oh, I was trying so hard, man. I just, yeah. and yeah, it was. I, th I think you brought up a good point too, because like when you do get into the online dating, and maybe you've not been dating, or you've been isolated, or you've not been out in, in public much, you know, or you know, being social, and then you do get online, and all of a sudden there's this smorgasbord of different women from all over the place, all different ages and sizes, and everything, and so you might get a little overly excited, and if you're getting a little overly excited and, and excited, you know, and 
like, oh, here we go. Here's all these options. It's on. Mm-hmm. I'm sure yeah. pretty much every other guy is jumping on there mm-hmm. doing the same. So yeah. how, do, how do you make yourself unique? How, you know, don't try so hard. But first and foremost, like to Kirk's point, you got to love yourself mm-hmm. first. So if you're yeah. getting online to fill some hole, it's not going to get filled there. Right. It's not, it's not, it's not going to be the, the, the bandaid or, or the, the, the healing balm that you're hoping it's going to be. Right. Getting online is really just a, a research project. You're, 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 you're Googling options. Basically. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. Start and, with you. I mean, and then, you know, there's the whole thing of, there's the whole thing of, enjoying being with yourself Mm. you know man if you can't just enjoy hanging out with yourself then why would anybody else enjoy hanging out with you i mean it's nothing more peaceful and serene and this you know this is of course after a journey of you know discovery but you know just being able to go for a walk by yourself man just being able to go find your favorite park and just go sit at and you know just just you know take yourself on a date you know go go i mean nowadays of course with you know, pandemic and code reds and all that kind of stuff. It's, you know, it's not necessarily who ordered the code red. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, I gotta say. <laughs> I want the truth. <laughs> Anyhow, um, I'm sorry, squirrel. But um, but still, you know, there's stuff we can do. You know, you mm. still can date yourself. You know, you can make yourself a dinner, you can have you can Netflix and chill by yourself, you know. And again, when the weather's nice, go for a walk, um, get outside, go do some stuff, but you know, enjoy some music, enjoy audio book or a regular book or, you know, whatever, but, it, but, you know, enjoy being you and then allowing whatever you, uh, to come from that man is, is, is huge. And, and, you know, but that being said, so here's the deal. Let me, let me pivot a little bit mm-hmm. since we're 17 minutes into this thing. What is, what is the dating world like now? I have no idea. I mean, I, you know, especially online dating, I mean, you can't meet for dinner you know, you can't meet for drinks. You know, you, I don't even know if, I don't know if coffee shops are open. I don't, and you know, of course all of this is literally day to day at this point, we don't know even what next week is going to hold, but you know, so how do you do all that? I, I don't know. I mean, I, I really don't have any experience in that, but maybe it, maybe it'll be great to just do zoom dates, you know, and see if you can have a conversation with somebody, you know, over, over zoom or yeah. Facebook, or whatever. I mean, maybe that's a good thing. Yeah, I mean, we've got to be flexible. We've got to do what we can do with what we've got and use the tools we're given. So if you are online dating, if you are wanting to reach out and meet people, why not set up like a discovery call like we do as coaches or just set up a time where you can get online and face to face or, you know, FaceTime or something like that and start doing virtual dates and talk with people and and be yourself. Mm -hmm. Ladies, be yourself because, I mean, the whole crux of this when we get down to it is this gentleman wanted us to get into pretty girl syndrome and princess syndrome on the online dating world, which is a thing. So we're mm-hmm. not dismissing what he's saying. Mm-hmm. We're just going straight to the meat. Mm-hmm. What do we do about it? And how do you, how do you deal with that? But ladies, I mean, there are ladies out there who are overly uh, chased. Mm-hmm. They have a lot of, and, mm-hmm. and maybe it's just because they know how to take pictures and, mm-hmm. you know, or maybe they're, they're falsifying evidence as, mm-hmm. as it were on their online profile. So, not mm-hmm. to demean what he says or anything, but yeah, I mean, nowadays it's it's a different world. Everything's a mm-hmm. different world. Everything's changing. Everything's an upheaval. So what can you do to mm-hmm. one, be yourself, to love yourself, to stand out? Mm-hmm. And then how do you do dating now? I mean, this yeah. is something that we don't know. Mm-hmm. We want to ask you guys if you have comments and, and, and insights on what to do, but Zoom calls, I mean, getting on FaceTime, doing yeah. virtual dinners or something like that. I mean, these, these are options. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, you can do. And, and you know, to your point, there I, I did come across a fair share of of women um, who were great at a great profile, <laughs> and you could tell that they even some that you know there were there were some that they wanted dates, but they didn't want a man. Yeah, they you know they they wanted somebody to take them out on a date. They wanted somebody to make them feel special. Go somebody to you know go spend money on them, and they wanted a different guy to do that tomorrow. And they just liked feel, feeling chased and, and feeling pursued and that kind of stuff, which, you know, there's some validity to that. Um, but at the same time, I think some were disingenuous in terms of what they were even looking for. And so, you know, I think it happens kind of in the opposite way, too, of, 
of some of the women were kind of presenting differently than, than who and really, you know, what they what they were. But, you know, now is a great opportunity, man. To, and if they're not serious and if you're if you're pursuing someone and they're not serious, you know, you'd be doing yourself a favor to just move on and just yeah. cut ties and, you know, just let them. I, man, I, I, it, it became fun for me to just be like, bye, Felicia. <laughs> bye, girl. Bye. Yeah. I mean, just like, you know what? Yeah. Either. Yeah. I mean, this like this this you know, yeah, this, this is not really what I'm looking for. I mean, if it's if it's not matching up, I do believe in 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 uh, the male pursuing the female. I do believe in some pursuit, but chasing is something totally different. Um, I don't think we should ever chase anybody. You know, if there's no reciprocity or there's no any of that kind of stuff, then then uh, then I would say, you know, move on. Um, yeah. But uh, but yeah, I mean, it's a great opportunity now to do some do some digital dates, man. Do some, you know. Yeah. I mean, you guys can maybe maybe you plan on we're going to cook the same thing. You cook it there. I cook it here and we talk while we cook and then we sit down and eat and who knows, get creative with that. But if you can't have a conversation you know, face to face, even even online, you know, if you can't converse, if you can't connect there, then, you know, you probably can't connect in person. And if you do connect, it's probably just physical and that's going to be short lived. Yeah. I mean, when you when you get right down to it. To borrow from the Course of Miracles again, you know, rejection is protection and redirection. So and especially when you got so many ladies and men and all vying for attention and stuff online. Don't get caught up. It's not personal. They don't know you. If, mm-hmm. if they skip by your profile because you overdid it or you tried too hard or you know they just have some quirk and don't like your pictures, whatever, don't take it personally. I mean, that's why it's a, online dating. There's so many. It's, it's speed dating at the, at the touch of a finger. You know, it's all mm-hmm. virtual. So if you're taking it personally, if you're taking every rejection personally, then that has nothing to do with them. That has nothing to do with the online mm-hmm. dating. That has to do with you and your own self-love and your own self-worth and that's where you should start Mm -hmm. but if you're out there dating you're out there online just be yourself be who you are be as you know brief brilliant and be gone as you can be so that you can engender some mystery you can engender some interest without having to try so hard but then you know be creative just like Kirk said maybe do the online virtual dinners or dates or whatnot but Mm -hmm. don't get so caught up just because she takes a good picture and mm-hmm. you think she's the one because you've made yeah. up a story in your head. That's the thing. Mm-hmm. We need a little reality, even with online mm-hmm. dating. Mm-hmm. Is it reality? Is she reciprocating? Is mm-hmm. it turning into a thing? Or is this just mm-hmm. a story you made up in your head? Yeah. I mean, she can be all all icing and no cake. I mean, and and I'm telling you, man, it, and that icing is so sweet. But too much of that icing will give you a cavity. It'll give you an upset stomach, man. You got to – there there could be no sub, no substance. And so – you know, I, and I, again, I don't know what the, you know, I don't know what that world is like these days. I don't know if because of, you know, COVID and all that stuff, things have gone more digital. I don't know if people like stop that even trying. I, I don't even know what, what that's looking like, but, you know, but I think it's a great opportunity if you are in that space, you know, to, yeah, I mean, it's, it, you know, other than somebody physically not having the time, yeah. it's really no excuse why somebody can't just do a quick zoom. Hey, let's do a quick zoom and talk for a few minutes. I mean, you know, if I mean, if somebody if if you can't even get somebody to do that, then they're not interested and just move on and just just walk away. Just just let it go. But, you know, it's a, it's a great opportunity and a great time. But, yeah, I mean, <clears throat> you know, to that point, there were a fair share of, in my experience, fair share of women who, man, yeah, oh, man, they took some great pictures and all the stuff they said and they wanted to do, they wanted this and they wanted that in a relationship and blah, blah, blah. And you're like, oh. and then, and then like, you know, again, I, this was years ago, but, and then I would, you know, cause I would like do some dating online and then, you know, then back off. And then I would kind of jump in and out um, of the, of the, of the pool. And, and I would see the same exact people, the same exact profiles, the same exact, you know, everything. And I'm like, with a profile like that, if you're a woman, you know, you, you know, if you, if you're still doing that, you know, for years and years and years at a time, you ain't looking for no man. Um, You just want a full inbox and you just want options and you just want discussions. Well, it's just the attention thing too, but that also brings up a good point too. A lot of these sites, even though you think you, maybe the girls have deleted their profile because they moved on, but maybe Mm -hmm. they're 
they, they, they recycle them and they're still there. So you think you're mm-hmm. actually talking to a real person mm-hmm. and mm-hmm. it's just an empty profile. I got a funny story. Man. <laughs> oh, I got a funny story, man. And man, uh, I, uh, yeah. So here's a funny story. Um, you know, so I, I, I've got, you know, yeah, I've been married a couple of times. Um, uh, so not this, maybe about a month ago or something like that. Um, and you know, at this point, uh, I'm on kind of good terms with my exes and, uh, as far as communication. And so, um, it was about a month ago about my first wife, she reached out to me and, uh, and I guess she had just, you know, I, I, I hope I'm not putting her on blast too much, but <laughs> whatever. I don't know if she's watching my timeline and she should be watching my timeline, but whatever. <laughs> um, <laughs> but uh, anyway, I figured, man, hey, you know, if you, whatever. Anyhow, um, but she reached out to me and said that she had, you know, kind of jumped in the, the dating field, the, you know, online dating field. And uh, she created her profile, blah, 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 and hit go. And like one of the very first, one of the very first profiles that popped up was mine. <laughs> it was me, but it was like, I mean, that, that particular site, I've tried to delete that profile like three times, man. And, and, and it just like won't go away. And so I hadn't used that and I hadn't been on that profile and I don't know how long, but either way, it was so funny because one of the first people that popped up was, uh, was this ugly mug. Um, I guess the algorithm's working. (laughs) In a way, or in a way not. (laughs) How do we take that? Like, they're either really good at predicting or really bad. Like, yeah. Well, I've had that experience too. Like, every time I've like dipped my toe in the water and I jumped in the pool with the online dating and then decided to get out of it and like deleted my profile or canceled it or whatever, if I went back to that same site, half the time, if not more, once I put my information in, it would like pop up my old profile and I'm like, hang on a second. Yeah. So, I mean, guys, if you're out there and you're not getting responses, I mean, it may just be a bot that's using mm-hmm. canceled profiles. I mean, mm-hmm. they, a lot of these, a lot of these sites, they, they keep, and that's, I guess another thing to, to keep in mind too. If you get on these sites, they may keep your information yeah. <laughs> and keep yeah. using your face to mm-hmm. sell their site. Yeah. I mean, and like I said, that was, you know, I hadn't used that. For, I've, I know that I've tried to delete that profile at least three different times and uh and but somehow you know it popped up when when uh when she when she searched it which i thought was hilarious but it also led into it also led into kind of her and i getting into a little discussion about you know what to expect and the dating and all that kind of stuff and i was like get out there girl you know i mean get out there and meet some guys and stuff um but i I told her her some things to look out for yeah um red flags and what the experience was though but I mean, to that point, I mean, yeah, we may be limited now we, in, in online dating, maybe your only option, mm-hmm. but don't take it personally and, and, you know, be as much you as you can be. But then when, when you have the option, when you can or whatever loopholes are in your community where you can get out and meet people in person, that is always the best way. Yeah. Like save yeah. yourself the time and the energy and the effort of, of doing all this online stuff and get out and meet people in person because yeah. it just... And that's one of the things I was I used to complain about it, and now I'm I'm finding it to be a, a, a blessing in disguise. Is that a lot of times I don't feel like I translate well mm-hmm. on a profile or online, mm-hmm. and so it's just better meet in person. But then when you meet in person, when you meet somebody in person, then you actually have the energy, the chemistry, the mm-hmm. the whole enchilada, so you can mm-hmm. actually decide right there. So mm-hmm. yeah, I mean, do you want the substance or do you do you want the 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 frosting? Yeah. And, you know, and, and that's a perfect segue to, you know, to a, a good friend of ours, a good friend of ours, Kara owns, uh, you know, in the loop, which is, um, you know, which is kind of a, a, a singles community. I wouldn't I, I wouldn't necessarily call it a dating community. It's a singles community. They do a bunch of stuff together. And if people meet, they meet, um, you know, and, you know, we even have something kind of coming up with her in the near future. But, um, you know, one of the big things that she talks about in terms of dating is, knowing your lane and staying in your lane. Um, and so, you know, that ladies, pretty, gentlemen, like Brad Pitt, Angela, yeah. Lee, they're not in your lane. I'm sorry. Right. Right. And, and, th- and that, that's a perfect example, even of the, in, in the digital dating world, because on one hand we can present something that we're not on the other hand, we can look at a profile and we can, Ooh, I want to meet that person when we ain't really, you know, we, ain't, that's not our lane. Like that's, you know, that's either, you know, 
a left or a right of the lane that we're in. Um, yeah. And so I, you know, fell victim to that too. But yeah, that, that just reminded me of her famous thing of, of knowing your lane and staying in your, staying lane, in your lane, dating, yeah. dating in your lane. And so, you know, well, I mean, that, we even one of, one of the first videos we did was, you know, it's nice for you to have all these, criteria and these lists of, of, of attributes you want your man to have, but then you always, you have to use a, use that back, you know, in the mirror, mm-hmm. like would that guy want you like this guy that you put down all these attributes for would that guy mm-hmm. want you. Mm-hmm. And, and that's one of the things that Kirk and I both coach the men that we work with, <laughs> like write down your list of attributes, write mm-hmm. down the things that you wanted a woman in a relationship and then become the man who can attract that. Right. And that goes back. That goes to ladies as well. Right, right, right. Because I think a lot of ladies, man, a lot of ladies, and this is again from my experience. This is not just me projecting. This is and what I. And everything we say is generalized, ladies. This is, so don't. <laughs> but this is this right here was my experience frequently. Yeah. I think from from the from the the, the women's perspective, um, you know, if you're not ready to move on to a relationship, you shouldn't be dating, looking for a relationship. And I, what I mean specifically is if you still got baggage and issues, when I say baggage, I'm talking emotional baggage and, and hurts and wounds. And, and, you know, you, if you, if believe the surface, if you hate men because of what your ex did, or if you haven't gotten over the way your ex hurt you, or, you know, your ex-husband's a jerk. And so all men are jerks and, you know, you got all kinds of drama going on with him and the kids and all this other kind of stuff. If, if you're not ready and emotionally available, you know, to date, then don't, you know, don't be out there, you know, dating yeah. to meet guys like, you know, cause you're going to sabotage when a good guy comes along or you're going to gravitate towards the bad guy. Next thing you know, you're posting about, you know, this guy did this and this, this, he got you pregnant and left you and borrowed money, taking your car. And now he's blah, blah, blah. And, mm-hmm. and, you know, I hear these stories. I'm like, well, how did you pick a guy like that in the first place? And now he's the bad guy. So if you're not emotionally ready, then guys, you know, if you, if you haven't done your work to, 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 to clear everything that you need to be cleared up, then you need to, you need to fix that kind of stuff before you get into a dating room as well. And I mean, whatever that looks like, whatever ended your last relationship, if you haven't addressed that or resolved that, you shouldn't be moving on to the, your next relationship. And that goes yeah. in any kind of setting, in any kind of way. And that brings up a great point because if you, what is your motivation when you get online to date? What is mm-hmm. your motivation? And if you can't be honest with yourself and figure it out, then that's your, your first indication that you shouldn't be out there. But yeah. what is your motivation? Are you looking just to make yourself feel better because you're lonely? Are you looking to just get somebody just so you, you can have something for a minute to make yourself feel better? Or are you yeah. getting out there out of curiosity of what's there and that I don't need anything. I'm just curious because <clears throat> I know most of us, and I mean, we've all been guilty of it is, you're in that spot, you're depressed, you're lonely. So then let me jump online. Maybe somebody's in mm-hmm. the same spot, but then that never lasts because you're, you're trauma bonding. You're coming from that, that space of being alone and feeling less than. So you're just trying yeah. to grab onto anything you can that whatever that life preserver is, you know, yeah. But if, if you're serious about it, heal those wounds, do that mm-hmm. personal work mm-hmm. and then come from that space. And I guarantee mm-hmm. you come from that space and be a whole different world. Yeah. I mean, uh, uh, guys get rid of whatever, addictions you might have get rid of you know whatever the none of us are perfect and it's not about getting perfect but it whatever it whatever you know is your fatal flaw whatever is your achilles heel again whatever contributed to ending your last relationship fix that thing and 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 women kind of the same thing but different you know whatever contributed to ending that your last relationship you know address that whole thing and if if your last relationship ended just because of the guy then fix whatever's in you that would pick a guy like that. I mean, <clears throat> and so, but again, you know, there's a lot of things that, that, um, that can get carried over from a past relationship, you know, into the dating world. And it's like, man, if you ain't ready, then do your work or you just going to damage more people if you don't. Yeah. How's it, how's the saying go? If you don't heal the wounds within yourself, you're just going to bleed on somebody who didn't cut Absolutely. you. The reason you think you're having, the same relationship over and over again with a different body, but the same person It's because mm-hmm. you're still putting out the same vibes, the same energy mm-hmm. that you still got that you're still attracting the same thing. So yeah. I, I know for me, and I know for Kirk as well, we got to that breaking point of, you know what, I'm done with this same old, same old and this mm-hmm. hamster wheel of the same person in a different body. It's time mm-hmm. to do that work and heal those wounds. And mm-hmm. so if you're ready to do that, reach out to us. There's a lot of other professionals out there that can help you to, 
do the work because I yeah it's uncomfortable but it's so worth it. Mm-hmm. So if you're sick and tired of princess syndrome online dating or pretty girl syndrome out in the world or whatever it is that you think is your Achilles heel that you, is keeping you from dating, I guarantee you that's not it. Mm-hmm. it it's you mm-hmm. and it's time to do the work. Yeah, yeah. I mean and that's that's a great summation of all of this stuff, man. What you know, all of the experiences that you know that the guy had that that wrote the comments and. You know, again, I when I read it, I was like, "Yeah, I've experienced that. And I've experienced that. And I've experienced that." Then I was like, "Yeah, you might be projecting a little bit on that one, and you might be, you know, speculating a little bit on that one." And then that kind of gets into the game plan of, you know, what women want and all that. Right. You know, what women want is a great movie. I love it. <laughs> Mel Gibson, fantastic movie is one of my, I, I, that's a, that's one of those Saturday afternoon laying on the couch watching movies. I love that yeah. movie. That's not a life philosophy. That's not a dating no. practice of doing stuff just because that's what women want. You know, that's how to get a woman. Eh, get a get. You don't want to get a woman. You want to get the woman, right. and you get the woman by being the man that you are, um, and and uh, and becoming the man that that you are that you want to be. Yeah, and if you want to have a laugh, I mean, talk about that movie. They just came out with a remake. What men want. Yeah. Same premise. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So, I mean, you can watch both of them back to back and have a good old laugh, but that's not reality i mean that's yeah. you do your work be who yeah. you are unapologetically and you will attract yeah. the one the one for you or at least yeah. the one for you for now i mean we're always yeah. growing but uh-huh. I mean, yeah you, in, in summation i hope this answers his question and, yeah. and we went into it but yeah i think yes we've experienced pretty girl and princess syndrome online and there may have been a little projection you may have been a little hurt and angry there which is normal yeah but and I to do that work. I would surely say, man, if you ever find yourself doing stuff just because you heard that that's the way to get a woman's attention by being this or being elusive and not not you don't text back right away and you don't this and that and you always wait two days after this and that and all. If you find yourself doing that, man, you are wasting way too much time because you're probably trying to get something that wasn't meant for you in the first place. So, I mean, and that being said, no two women are alike anyway. So if anybody can tell you that this is what women like, <laughs> that might be what a woman likes. But, you know, women can't predict the next woman. So, you know, so there's no, no two of them are like. So you can't just get out there and say, well, I'm going to do this. I'm going to be this kind of guy because that's what women like. Yeah, maybe a woman or, or a certain type of woman. But the woman for you is going to like and want and love, more importantly, love you for you. Yeah. And all your quirks, all your curves and edges, all of your, she's going to love your saint and your sinner. So just, hey, uh, just be there. To, to touch on that point when you're talking about the pickup mm-hmm. artist and the game and all these different things. Yes, there are ways you can trick a woman or get a woman or do these things to grab her attention, but it's all surface. It's all fake. It's mm-hmm. not you being you. Mm-hmm. So it's, it's a lie, basically. It's a game. Mm-hmm. And which you mean was a perfect name for that mm-hmm. book. Like, Mm-hmm. That it was just a game, and then what's really interesting, though, I, I one of the reasons I love that book, especially for research, was because the end of the book, all those guys writing the book are talking about how they're unfulfilled, mm-hmm. how because of all these things they've learned, they're still lacking in love, they're still mm-hmm. lacking in that actual connection and relationship. Mm-hmm. So, if we can stop looking for the tricks and the tools and the mm-hmm. you know what what it does to get the woman, mm-hmm. instead of just doing the what we can to be the best us we can be to attract the right mm-hmm. woman mm-hmm. that's where the depth and the substance and if you've watched yeah. us at all you know we're all about depth yeah and, and and you know if a woman is out there trying to do something to get men or to get a man if you if you think you need to lose weight to get a man then then you're you're missing it you're missing the boat i mean there you know there are men that like women of every shape size and color and you know i know you think oh nobody could love yeah trust me there's a guy that likes a curve just like that just like you just like that i mean there's a whole lot of them too so you know be you if you want to get healthy and if you want to get active and all that kind of stuff to be a better you to to fulfill yourself then then do that but don't feel like you gotta you ain't gotta change to do nothing for another for for a guy just be you do you boo boo all right, boo boos and hoo hoos and man, whatnot. This was a helicopter. We just bought this thing in for a landing. We didn't yeah. even line up on a runway, man. We no, just, we just it dropped it in. in. We just dropped it in, man. This is like a, a helicopter. Well, that was today anyway. We didn't advertise. We just surprised y'all. Jumped on here because we had in. some things to say. We had somebody who wanted our 
two cents or four mm. cents as it were. Mm. And so we took off and now splash down. Right. So you like, side, subscribe, comment, comment after the fact. We see the comments after the fact. Obviously we do because that led into this one. So if you're watching this, you know, even after we're done streaming live here, put a comment in there and, and uh, let us know. Janine, oh, Janine, you are just on it, girl. <laughs> Man, exactly. Be authentic and you'll get my attention. See, she's, I mean, we need to, we need to send her something. I don't know. If we had a t-shirt, we'd send you a t-shirt. But right now we're going to send you a love, a hug. We're going to send you a Mad Men. You know, just just kiss some love. Thank you for just being so loyal and, and faithful to us. You you always let us know that that uh, that that you're watching. But you are to completely right. Be authentic, yeah. and uh, and you'll get the right person's attention. So we love y'all. <laughs> yeah. And, so, and, and, and if you want some, I mean, if you do want to get a better you, if you do want to say, man, I need somebody to help take my connection to a catalytic level <laughs> how in a world do you think jbk somebody can maybe you know get get some connection catalyst in their life i'm easy to get a hold of right down here it's connection catalyst you can find me on facebook instagram mm -hmm. uh linkedin youtube jasonbkendrick.com and you know i have this amazing partner in crime right here who is the intimacy incubator so if somebody would like to get some more intimacy incubating in their lives mr kirkham samuels how can they get a hold of you boom pretty straightforward kirkham and you know i've been you know i had a guy kind of in my living room last night that i was working with and we kind of you know i finished it up on some of our work and this guy was he was in tears in my living room man and uh you know, it was really fulfilling working with guys. I love working with guys. They're helping guys get free of whatever it is that's that's holding them down, letting them cut the brick that's holding down their balloon. I love that kind of stuff, man. So, uh, so that's uh, that, that's that's yeah. what I'm all about. Yeah, so. gentlemen, we got we we've got to come together and join together in mm -hmm. healing and doing mm -hmm. this work together mm -hmm. and, and making it okay to to feel it, to heal it, and to grow because yeah. we're we're all in this together. This is not we're we're no no man's an island. Mm -hmm. As much as you try to be, as much as you want to be much as I've tried to be all my life, it's, mm -hmm. that's not where the healing and the growth comes from. It's that connection and I get uncomfortable mm -hmm. in relationship with other men and in community. Yep. Got that right. JBK, I love you, brother. Love you, man. Love all y'all. Like, share, comment, and we will see you on the next go round. Peace. Peace.